Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Daisy. Today we're going to be working on applying vinyl to Christmas ornaments. And for this project, we're going to need plastic or glass ornaments. I am using the four inches plastic ornaments, permanent vinyl, transfer tape, and the Cricut tools. And we're going to start with the design and Cricut design space. I already have some designs over here, but I'm going to show you how easy you can create your own. Go to font, and if you pay the membership, you have access to all of the beautiful fonts that Cricut Design Space offers. But if you don't, don't worry. Just go to system, and here is going to show you all of the fonts that you already have on your computer and they are free. And if you don't like any of those, go to dafont.com. They offer a huge variety of beautiful font and all of these ones are for free. I love this one. look so the one that i am using right now is called hanita and it's right here it's beautiful so you just press download press on the one that has the little a press it and install i'm not going to press there because i already have it just close it and let's go back to Cricut Design Space and type Hanita and there you're gonna have it. And if it doesn't show, just restart the program. I'm going to hide the ones I already have so we can work on the new ones. So text and I already have the font that I'm going to be working with. Just type the word or the name if you're using names and let's go to letter space to put them together. And if it's not well aligned, just select and ungroup and just do it manually. And over here, we're going to add a flourished letter like we did over here. And I'm going to show you how to add that. I have this program that is called Character Map, WUP. This one is free. I'm sure you already have it on your computer, but if you don't, just download it. It's completely free. This if you are using Windows. If you have a Mac, you may download Font Book. So go to the font that you're using. If here we're using Hanita, we have to make sure we look for that same one on Character Map. Because if we're using one font over here and another one on Cricut Design Space, it's not going to work. So go all the way down and here you're going to find all of the flourished letters if they have most of them don't for example this one doesn't have this one either like that so not all of them have so i'm going to select this y copy let's go back to cricut design space select the one that we want to replace and Ctrl V paste. And here we have it. It's beautiful. So that's that. If we if we would like to cut it that way, we're just fine like that. I would like to add some details around, like some stars and snowflakes. I have this one and this one. Select and insert. These ones I found them on Google. 
just download, clean them, and insert. because I'm going to cut one color so we can change the color if we need and before we continue with the cut we're going to resize it I am using four inches ornament so the design could be four to four point five inches I'm going to cut it four and a half inches and make it continue and here we're going to select the material that we're going to cut in this case i'm using vinyl and let's go to the machine After applying the transfer tape, we're going to cut around the name to make it easy to apply it on the ornament. Another easy option is to cut all the designs around the name and place them separate. When placing the vinyl, I like to start from the center and go to the sides.
And here we have the beautiful personalized Christmas ornament. If you would like to know how to apply glitter to Christmas ornament, I invite you to visit my previous video. Also, if you like these designs, I invite you to visit me on my website, daisymultifacetica.com, where you can download the SVG designs for free. I'm going to leave you the link on the screen and on the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.